All right, this is going to be a quiz. This is an easy quiz. What is Saturday? Fourth of July. Fourth of July. And what does the Fourth of July stand for? Independence Day. Independence Day. Okay, that's what it is. Not, a lot of people just don't understand Fourth of July nowadays. They think, well, this is where you just do barbecue and watermelon and all this. And, and they just missed the whole point of the 4th of July. And the 4th of July is, and a lot of people, they get it mixed up because they think, well, this is when they did the Constitution. No, it wasn't. It was uh, 1789 is the Constitution, and the Declaration of Independence was 1776. And we have to understand, we need to remember our history. And we need to remember all the battles that were fought for us, that we could have liberty, that we could have freedom in this country to worship God and so forth. But one part in the Constitution, I mean the Declaration of Independence, it says, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal, mm -hmm. that they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights, mm -hmm. that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Mm -hmm. That is a thing that our country was found on, that we would yeah. have life, yeah. liberty, and the pursuit Boy. of happiness. And it, did, it said all men, all men. Yeah, yeah. And we see there are the devil's trying to carry out, cause distraction and detraction and trying to cause all types of problems. Right. Now, if we go back to some of the things, I don't go into everything, the reason why the United States got to the point that they had to declare themselves independent because they were still ruled by England. Mm -hmm. And they were still ruled by them. And, and some of the things, they had taxation without representation. Right. And so, you know, they were constantly being taxed and more and more taxes and they wanted more and more tax. And then they didn't have freedom of religion because they, the, the, the king of England, he wanted everybody to be under the same church, the Anglican church. And so they were trying to pursue that here. So when we see this, we can see some common characteristics that are going on right now, is that we see that we have part of this country that they just want to raise our taxes, and more you're going to tax, and you know, mm -hmm. and we're not. And I'll be honest with you, even though we vote people in, a lot of times they're not representing the people they're voted in by. Right. And so we have the problem yes. that we have this, yes. and it is opening up. They came from the, the tyranny of a king, mm -hmm. King Charles, and they come from that thing, and now we are rolling back around that mm -hmm. tyranny, but it's not of a human. It is the power of darkness. Loud. Loud. It's the power of darkness. It's the tyranny of Satan. Mm -hmm. You know, we see in 2 Corinthians 4.4, 4, 2 Corinthians 4.4 Corinthians 4. In whom the God of this world have blinded the minds mm. of them which believe not. Least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine upon them. So we are battling the tyranny of Satan and we're so much that he is that power of darkness. And a lot of people don't believe there's a power of darkness. They don't believe there's evil in the world. They just, they just say, you know, it's just the way things are. And but we have to understand, Satan wants to control the minds of people. And he uses this yes. so their minds will yes. be blinded mm -hmm. to salvation that Jesus wants to give us. Salvation. Mm -hmm. it's salvation to have eternal life. And we see that we have to understand the tyranny of Satan is wanting this nation and all nations to fall. 
They, he's trying to get nah. them to come into his camp. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why we need to be so aware that the mm -hmm. enemy's camp, that they're trying to take over. Nah. Now, there's several things that this power of darkness or Satan mm -hmm. is using people. Even though we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but he's got the people's minds so blinded that they cannot see the true uh, light of Jesus. Mm. They have their faulty thinking and faulty beliefs. And so there's some several things that we're seeing, and we're seeing this right now. Mm. Right now, and there's several areas that we can look at that Satan is trying to overthrow and overthrow governments, mm -hmm. overthrow people's belief, and get people thinking away from God completely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we see our founding fathers said that we were created, equally created by our creator. Yeah. Yeah. By our creator. You know, they were just, and that we have the right to have life, liberty, and have the pursuit of happiness. But Satan wants to take that away and just go and attack believers. Mm -hmm. And we see that I was reading a thing today uh, in 2018. They tried to take the Ten Commandments off the, that, uh, the, the grounds of the capital of Arkansas. But the church of Satan, the temple of Satan, they came and wanted their their statue there. And that they did it didn't stay, they just came and did but the interview, they interviewed the thing, they said, Well, we really didn't want our statue there, but we just wanted to say, you know, if you're gonna have this, we need the opportunity to voice our thing. And they just said and I saw pictures of the rally and videos of the rally and, and they were all said you know, long live Satan, and Satan is this, and Satan is that, and it was just kind of creepy. Mm -hmm. And and the guy that was over it, it, I looked at him, and he looked weird. I mean, he's not a bad looking guy, but he had one brown eye and one blue eye, and it just looked kind of, you know, it's different. I know there's some people that have one brown eye and blue eye. It just, you know, it just stark. You know, there was something wrong there. And I pray for salvation over you. I really do. Yes. That, you know, he's being deceived in deception yes. of Satan. Yes. And that's what we need to do is start. Right. The people are not our enemy, but we need that their minds quit being blinded. Yes. Blinded. And see, that's, yes. that's what's happening now. And we see that in our society, in our society, in, in the United States, one thing they want to attack religion yes. but I like to go further they want to attack the Christians of this nation and we're seeing it more and more and more we see that synagogues are being attacked and we see Christian churches are being attacked and we're seeing so much of that and we need to stand forth Amen. And let our mouth be spoken and lift up the praises of God so that our religious liberty. See, this is the thing, the whole thing of taking over this country. If you can take away the people's beliefs and keep them out of church. And that's what's going on right now with this pandemic. This is exactly what's going on. Trying to shut the churches down. Nah. You know, this, you know, those are the things. But what do they do? They keep the marijuana stores still open. Mm -hmm. You can go and get the marijuana stores, you know, mm -hmm. and they won't shut them down. They, some of the beer joints they have, liquor stores. Liquor stores, they're not shutting down. The bars they shut down, but the liquor stores are not being shut down because they say that's essential for people to be able to. To get their booze so they will not go crazy. Well, I'm not talking about saying that you can't. Uh, I'm not going to be one of these preachers that, you know, alcohol is alcohol is such a 
such a thing because a lot of times people, preachers preach on so much sin and all they do is preach on drugs, alcohol, and sex. You know, and that's all they preach on. They never preach on gossip. They don't, you know, I have to watch, you know, that I have to look at my congregation and which I'm proud to say that I don't have to preach on gluttony around here. And, you know, but they need, sometimes we need to watch that. But the thing is, they, it wants to, to take away the right to have religion. They're trying to take it away. Another thing that we see is they want to take away family. Their, the divorce rate is so high right now. And they say 50% of all marriages, but it's more than that. Wow. That is old statistic. But what's crazy, ever since they they started same-sex marriage and proved same-sex marriage, heterosexual marriages has dropped. Mm. It's dropped. There's not people, they're not even, even get married. Nah. You know, just we we just forego that formality. You know, we just live together and if it don't work out we just go on, you know. So there's not that commitment. Yeah. And see that's what Satan is gonna attack the family. Yeah. And you know there's a there's been statistics. Nah. In the nineteen fifties the black home Black families, 85% was a full family. The mother and father. But after the welfare system came down, that then it came out. That it's now that less than 35% has both mother and father there. But we see it even in the white community. We see it that much, but there's the absentee father thing is so, it's huge, yes. It's so much there, but it's a destruction of family. I've run into people a lot of times that they they haven't talked to their children in years. Yeah. They just, you know, and the family is not like it used to be. It's just like yeah. it's. Well, I praise God I have a family. You and I praise God I have a family that I talk to my kids at least once a week. Some of them, I, some of them, I talk to them two or three times a week. My son Brett, I talk to him maybe every day of the week. Because when he's on his job, he's calling me because he's dri driving his car, and you know, so he's talking to me in his car. Well, let's put it this way: he's talking to me. I'm not talking to him. And Brent, if you hear this, that's the truth. So anyway, we have to understand that, you know, we have the family yes. that yes. are so dysfunctional. Mm -hmm. But I want to ask this question. We say families are dysfunctional. How many of you ever met a functional family? <laughs> I mean, I mean, yeah. really, everybody, there is some dysfunction in the family. Yes. But see, that's what Satan wants to do. Is cause that detraction in the families. Wow. And so they want to, he wants to break up marriages. He wants to alienate the kids and so forth like this. That just that so much this thing he wants he is attacking. Wow. So we see education. Wow. Man, what what are we seeing now? Oh, uh, it's, it's you know we have education right now. We're falling behind. Even though they have it online, but how many kids don't have computer access? Yes. You know, there's. I talked to some teachers, and they says, right. "Well, some of these kids, they pick up their package, and we never see them again." And then we have some that's never pack, picked up their packages oh. to do the work. So that's another right. way that Satan can destroy education. And you know, we have to understand that 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 is the thing that people perish for lack of knowledge. And even in the education system that we see, that how many people even 
know the Constitution. One of the problems that we have, that the reason why people are politically and all this, they just not knowing what's going on, they've taken civics out of the school. Mm. They used to, when I was a kid, man, you had civics. That was the big thing. Mm. In fact, one of my course in my senior year was called American Problems. And we talked about the problems in America. You know, and it was things, but we also learned the Constitution. And we knew all this. But the kids don't even get this anymore. And so we have to understand that's another way that Satan is going to try to get us to not remember history so the mistakes can be made over and over again. Because if we don't watch out, if you do not correct history, it's going to repeat itself. And that's what it is Satan's trying to take that out. They're trying to take out books. You know, mm -hmm. one of the books they're trying to take out is Huck Finn. Huck Finn. I mean, it's crazy. And you know, and I know Disneyland, Disney World, they're doing something now that is crazy. Is that they have this ride called Splash Mountain. And it's like going through a hillbilly town and, and it had Br'er Rabbit and Bear Bear and Br'er Briar Fox, you know, and all that. They're taking all those down. They're taking all that down because they think it's, it's against slavery. I heard something the other day about family that has kind of really bothered me. Uh, that, you know, it says all men are created equal. I don't care if you're black, white, or Hispanic, Chinese, whatever, Indian. We all created equal. We all have all the access to God. But there's one county in Oregon, Lincoln County, Oregon, that made it mandatory that everybody, everybody in Lincoln County had to wear a mask in public. Everybody. Except if you're black. Because they didn't want to offend the black people. And I, I thought, wait a minute. That should have been more offensive to self. It says, don't wear a mask because we can wipe you out. You know, that type of thing. And see, we have to understand that the Satan is using people and perverting things and people, right. officials and so forth like yeah. that. Well, I praise God one thing. They finally tore down uh, the CHOP or CHAZ, whatever they had in Seattle, that thing, they finally tore it down today and removed everything from that. They finally did it after four weeks, which should have been done when it's first. And I'm not getting political. I'm just saying is that their people need to take a stand. And anarchy is not one of them. We talked about family and we talked about education. Yes. He wants to change education. There are people that are fighting that, that, that they cannot have voucher programs are where people can choose if you have a bad school that you can go to a better school. Oh. They're fighting it. But the Supreme Court the other day just ruled that the voucher program was all right. Yeah. That people could have the right to choose. Yeah. And so, so forth. Yeah. Well, next one is media. Media. <laughs> yeah. You know, the media... I don't want to use the word fake news, but I'm going to say they're not telling the truth. Yeah. It's almost got to the point it's propaganda. Yeah. And people are just, uh, it's like right now they're coming up with something. Well, we just heard and we had this and that and, and no backing, not, nothing. They just said, we have a, we have a person that's, anonymously told us the way this is. You know, again, I believe that if somebody accuses somebody, they they have the right to face their accuser. Yes, amen. Amen. But they're using this thing, you know, you know, no, you gotta protect the individual. Well, you're not protecting the person that they're doing things to. That's right. You know, these are the things that is the clouding people's minds. You know, it's less like this. 
If I was running for office, which I have ran for office and I actually got elected and all this stuff, but I was a good person. I didn't say anything ugly. In fact, I didn't even campaign and got it anyway. So I guess that was just the Lord just blessed me. I don't know. I must be so cute or something that people wanted to vote for me or something. But anyway, so we, it's a thing. If I wanted, and if Sister Helen was running against me, I could say something, the most ungodly things about her that weren't true, that wasn't true at all. And they could even find out I'm a liar. But you know what happens? It has already planted in the minds of people. Yes. And they still will believe the lie even though the truth comes out. Wow. Mm. And you know, that's that's where the deceit is. That's the deceit. That's what the media is doing. They can just manipulate things and manipulate <laughs> people's thinking. Yes. It's just like, like it says that Satan wants to blind the minds of the people. Yes. And so this is the thing that he is using people mm. to blind people. Their minds that they won't be able to see what is truth and not the truth. Nah. So we, another thing we could see, entertainment. Mm. Entertainment. You know, there are so many, we pick and choose what we watch. Yeah. And some of the things we watch, we, we get on there and the storyline is so good. It is a good story and then all of a sudden you Start hearing the F-bombs, 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 which really don't even fit the story. I saw one movie. It was so cute a movie, but they had one guy. That's all he did is come in the room. And that was his. He didn't have a hard time learning his part. He just would come in and say that word over and over and over, you know. You know, the media just... It just trying to manipulate, and that's what Satan does, is try to manipulate us through yeah. our sight and our ears. Yeah. And we have to understand that. Mm -hmm. And in business, you know, that everybody that makes money, mm -hmm. they must be doing something crooked. Mm -hmm. But you know, in God's people, oh, yeah. every one of God's people that he picked, that they weren't always the best of people. Abraham wasn't. He worshiped his son God. That man, he had lots of stuff. You know, David, he, he, I mean, David ended up with a lot of money. And goodness knows, Solomon did. And, you know, he had over 500 wives and so many concubines. And, you know, but he made money, but he still, like his father, was after God's own heart. You know, David was a murderer, adulteress, and all that, but he still was after God's heart. And, but he was true repentance. Yes. And so we see all this Amen. stuff yes. that we see. Yes. that, And we have people attacking people of faith. Mm -hmm. People of faith. Well, this preacher's making so much money. He's making so much money. That's that old thing. You've got to keep your preachers poor and humble. God's people in the Bible, they weren't poor. They weren't poor. You know, it's just it's it's just one of those things that deceit. They, I remember a church years ago. This pastor, he, they said, well, he makes fifty thousand dollars a year. They're paying him fifty thousand dollars a year in Tyler, Texas. Now this has been twenty seven years ago, so you figure what it would, and. That's too much. People just don't make that much. He had a 10,000 member church. Mm -hmm. And nobody would say anything if you had a company and you were over 300 people. You know, this is all faulty thinking. Yeah. This is what the tyranny of Satan does. He's trying to get into people's minds. Yeah. Trying to get him to doubt the things of God. You know, we see that scripture says, you know, the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But God said, I came to give you life and more abundantly. Yeah. 
Yes. How many of us would like to have abundant life? Amen. I mean, I'm really, you would like to have more? No, I don't. I want the whole enchilada. I want the more abundant. Amen. I want the whole promise. That's the, been the problem Amen. is that we shortchange God. Amen. I mean, he's, his promises say, I'm going to give you more abundantly. But I, I, you know, it's just like, you know, that old song, you know, you know, I just want a little cabin in, in heaven. Yeah, and that song bugs me because his promise that he, yeah. he's going to build you a mansion. Yeah. Long as I get there by the skin of my teeth, then that little cabin just will do me fine. Well, you know, that's not God's promise. Now I tell you what, you know, some people like it good, some like it better, but I want it the best. And so, you know, we we have to understand that it's not all financially. It's the best to be the peace that you have. And I've seen people stretch money like it never been stretched before, and they and I've seen people that make big money, and when they die, they had nothing. And then I had some see people that had made very little, and when they died, they had a lot, you know. But they can't take it with them anyway. You never see a U-Haul behind a hearse, you know. And you see this. But we have to understand that God created us all equal. And with this Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, man, I'm this word. I've been having a hard time with, I can't believe it's July already, but I just moved it to November. So, I mean, I mean, this time is just running so much. I, I'm sorry, I won't go political on you on that because there's somebody that makes a lot of crack gas themselves, so I won't go political. But anyway, so we see that God allowed this country to be under God. Amen. And Satan is trying mm. to tear it down. Mm. And we need to remember our roots. Amen. Yes. So we will not repeat this mistakes again. Amen. We got to remember the sacrifices mm. that we made. Because this is still the greatest country that ever was on the earth. Yes. And it's being trying to tear her down. But I want to say this, this as us as believers, we need to get to the point that we fight for our country through our prayer. Amen. Amen. But then not yes. only fight yes. with our prayer, yes. but with our action and with our mouth. Oh, it's it's all right to say, Well, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. Well, that's a good start. But when God tells you to do something, we better do it. Amen. When people are trying to run down our country or run down you, you know, if somebody starts running down your child, I mean, the women that are mothers, their claws come out. I mean, their claws come out. You don't, even though my kid is bad, and it, it, or she's bad or her bad. I'm going to fight for my child. Well, it's time that we fight for our country. It's time. And remember that God is our creator. He is our creator. And I'm going to say something that's politically incorrect now. We need to serve the master of the universe. That is God. And this time, the 4th of July, remember, we had founders that founded this under God. They weren't perfect, because there was only one perfect person. But they still saw that God needed to be in control. And that's what we need to do. It's time for us that the silent majority... The army of God stand up yeah. and say, enough's enough. Amen. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Father God, we just thank you right now as we come this week to celebrate the fortune of life. 
Father, that we can remember our heritage and remember what these men and women fought yes. for. Father, I know the people are trying to get rid of the Constitution completely. But Father, it's worked, man, almost 250 years, Father. Yes. You know, it's just so much right now, Father, that we say right now that you open people's eyes. Yes. Open their minds yes, Lord. to see what you have planned yes. and what you have in store for us. Yes. If we will only trust you yes. and turn our ways and our actions and, and our thoughts over to you yes. and that you direct our path. We ask this in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.